Hello and welcome to Talk Chinese, where I teach you Chinese with ease. My name is Xiao Lan, and in this episode, I will teach you the most important element of Chinese pronunciation: tones. Tones are the biggest barrier for non-native students. Getting them right is like climbing Everest for Chinese learning. But once you get over it, the rest of your journey is going to be very easy and enjoyable. We have our guest Jessie, a British singer and songwriter from Transition Qian Jing Yue Tuan. They compose and sing in Chinese. Very impressive. Hi, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Yeah, we know Chinese is a tonal language,、yep. and there are four major tones.、Yeah. Speaking in Mandarin, is that important for you? Oh, it's very important,、um, and it's a good question. Now, one word can have four different meanings, at least depending on the tone that you have. And so, as a learner, this is really daunting. You're right in saying it's like climbing Everest. It's for me when I thought I've got the right word, I finally memorized it, but what's the tone? I couldn't yeah, hear it. Yeah, but as a musician, your ears are actually much more tuned and more sensitive than most people. Well, it did help、um, loving music, and even if people aren't musicians, if they enjoy listening to music, which I know a lot of people do,、mm-hmm. it helps. To be able to just hear where the melody is going in somebody's voice, it did really help me to kind of think. Learning Chinese is almost like singing. You have a phrase you need to learn, and there's going to be a melody to it. Yes. And trying to spot that melody. Right. It did help me to distinguish which tones it would be. Right. Give us an example. Okay. So some of the words which you can get wrong. The word to buy and sell. It sounds the same. It's a different word. Mhm. My is to buy. My is to sell. So for me, as soon as I heard the melody, my. Third tone going down and then up in pitch, and then my the fourth tone going from high to low. So my is to buy and my is to sell. My my. That's right. Yeah. So if you are not familiar with Chinese, you may feel, oh no, gosh, they sound the same, but actually they are not. Let's try again. <laughs>、yeah. My my. My my. My my. Exactly. So my my together that actually means trading. So if you are、ah, a trader、okay. and you get it wrong, your boss wanted you to buy and then you sell. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> you probably won't stay on the job for too long. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, gotta yeah. learn those tones. Yeah. Another very famous example: ma and ma. Ma means mother.、Mm-hmm. Ma is horse. Oh yeah, there's a lot of potential for danger there. Yeah, don't call your mother horse. She's not going to be very <laughs> impressed. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then I know in your song, um, uh, 对不起，我的中文不好 You you use the example when you go to the dumpling shop. You say you want some dumpling, and people thought you are talking about sleeping. So 睡觉睡觉 That's right. Yeah. So, <laughs> you can't, you can't so, order sleep, and you know we、no, got some funny、okay. looks when that happens. So、happened. make your choice: you want to sleep or you want dumplings. <laughs> yeah.、Uh, let's get the four tones right, and then、uh, I will give you more examples. And I think it's much easier to learn the tones that way. So let's use the word "jia" as the example. Jia, 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 jia. Jia, 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 jia. That's the four tones using "jia" as the example. Yeah. Jia means home. Okay. Jia. The folder clip. Yep. 假 fake. Ah.、Uh. 假 to marry. <laughs> so they all mean totally different things. And if you don't get it right, you may marry a fake wife. <laughs> 假假假假 Let's say that again. 假假假假假假假假 There are four tones. So let's tackle them one by one. Okay. First tone. It's really it's a constant pitch, just、yep. like ba. 爸妈，妈，家，家。The second tone, the pitch rises. It sounds just like when you have a question in your mind, you say 啊啊，爸，爸，妈，妈。The third tone falls and then rises again. 爸，爸，妈，妈。The fourth tone is the angry tone. Angry Chinese, you go down, just like ouch, ouch. No, I'll choose English. <laughs> ba, ba, ma, ma. Ba, in fact, it's a Chinese word for father. Ma is the Chinese word means curse in English. So when you say ma is mother,、yep. ma is horse,、yep. ma is to curse. Make sure <laughs> you get it right. So let's practice the four tones again using b a ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Yes, and when you go for jogging or、um, you are in the gym, 
um, counting your reps, you just say ba 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 ja 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 ga 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 ga. <laughs> just get used to it, and yeah. then you can hear the nuance when people speak in Chinese to you. I know there are some uh, tongue twisters in English, yes. and the same as in Chinese. Do you know any? I do, but the English ones, even for me, are very hard. Oh. I know one. You know a good one. Yeah, I know a very good one. That's how I started <laughs> learning English. I I was told to say how much wood can a wood chop chop can a wood chop can chop wood. See, that's very good. I can't believe you started off learning English with that. Yeah, and then、uh, when we were younger, we had to say something in something similar in Chinese.、Uh, let me show you one. 十四四有四十四只石狮子，不知道底是四十四只石狮子还是四十四只死狮子。<laughs> <laughs> Yay! And that means、um, the stone lion temple has forty-four lions. Don't know if there are forty-four stone lions or forty-four dead lions. Make sure you don't mix up dead lions and stone lions. Absolutely not. And it's the same. Is it the same word with a different tone?、Um, no, totally different words and different pronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 石 is stone. Okay. 死 is dead. Right. Okay. I I know I've made this mistake before where somebody's told me、mm-hmm. meet me at four o'clock. Right, and actually, it's meant ten o'clock. Oh no! Shi is ten. Yeah. Si is four. There you go. Yeah, right.、So、yeah. I got there at the wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> In English, it's the same. A lot of sounds sound similar from、yes. foreign years or non-native English speakers, but actually, they mean totally different things, like pitch and、yep. peach. That's true. Yeah. So,、um, it's a matter of familiarity. So everything we said about tones today, it's how your ears to be familiar with them. So please don't worry too much. The more you listen carefully, the more nuance you will be able to differentiate. That's right. And、um, as an English person learning Chinese, I found don't be afraid to imitate, because often by just copying someone and not worrying too much about the tones, you can get it right. The other thing is the environment. If you're in the environment. You can naturally absorb a lot of the tones. So if you're watching TV and listening to radio and we're out with your friends, you're going to pick up a lot. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Because, have very thick skin. Oh yeah, you're you're going to make mistakes, and you just have to let that go and not worry about it,、um, and just try your best. Often the mistakes will help you to remember, and you'll learn the word the best way. Thank you, Jesse, for sharing with us. Thank you for listening to Talk Chinese, where we teach you one useful phrase of Chinese every day. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to rate us, review us, and be sure to share what you have learned. Until next time, 再见。